Hey everyone, it's David Sirota. So you may remember the debate over the tax bill and how much of the debate over the tax bill when it came to corporate taxes was allegedly about trying to disincentivize corporations from moving their profits overseas. There's a lot of talk about that on the election campaign, a lot of talk about that during the debate over the tax bill. What's happened in recent decades is that companies have basically created, in many cases, uh, subsidiaries or shell companies overseas to claim that they're making uh, their revenues and their profits in low-tax countries so that they don't have to pay uh, American income taxes, corporate income taxes on that income. They can defer it if that income is technically made overseas. That has essentially uh, basically kept profits that American multinational corporations have made, that's kept those profits overseas outside of the jurisdiction of U.S. tax authorities. So coming into the tax bill and the tax debate uh, over that piece of legislation, there was a, a push, or at least a rhetorical push, to try to disincentivize companies from doing that. But what do you know, a new Congressional Budget Office report says that, in fact, the recently passed Republican tax bill does not solve that problem. In fact, it may actually make the problem worse. This was a, a clause, a fairly technical clause, buried in a Congressional Budget Office report that recently came out. Uh, it's in sort of the fine print. You have to know what you're looking for and what you're, what you're looking at. But here's what it basically said. It said that the provisions... Uh, that deal with foreign low ta uh, foreign income in low tax countries that those provisions affect corporations decisions about where to locate tangible assets by locating more tangible assets abroad a corporation is able to reduce the amount of foreign income that is categorized uh, as essentially taxable under the uh, the bill Similarly, by locating fewer tangible assets in the United States, says the CBO, a corporation can increase the amount of U.S. income that can be deducted. Now, here's the key line in the Congressional Budget Office report. Quote, together, the provisions may increase corporations' incentive to locate tangible assets abroad. It's worth saying that line again. Together, the provisions may increase corporations' incentive to locate tangible assets abroad. So CBO is saying that actually this bill may make it financially a better deal for companies to move even more of their assets overseas. So this is a big deal. This is a big admission. And remember, the Congressional Budget Office is nonpartisan. It's, you know, I mean, depending on the, on the era, both parties have their problems with it. They, they sometimes criticize it, sometimes tout it. But it is a nonpartisan office that analyzes legislation for uh, Congress, the now Republican-controlled Congress, acknowledging that the tax bill potentially incentivizes major corporations to send uh, their assets a.k.a. potentially their profits, overseas more than they already do so now. And here's another interesting piece in this, that whereas the proponents of the tax law said that the bill would end the uh, gaming of offshore tax loopholes, the CBO report also notes that companies will likely still use accounting tricks to move $200 plus billion each year in profits overseas. That's also in the Congressional Budget Office report. So the takeaway here is that while there was a lot of rhetoric, populist rhetoric, about closing those offshore tax loopholes, the tax bill, according to the Congressional Budget Office, actually may end up making the problem worse. So this is effectively, this CBO report debunks at least a big piece of that rhetoric, a, a, a piece of that rhetoric that you often hear even from President Trump, much less congressional leaders, who say they supposedly want to make sure that American jobs are kept uh, at home, that companies uh, have to pay their fair share uh, of taxes like American-based companies have to pay their fair share of taxes. I mean, there's this whole debate here about if you're a brick-and-mortar small business in the United States, you're paying, 
effectively, or you're supposed to be paying, uh, the corporate tax rate. But if you're a multinational corporation and you can set up subsidiaries in places like Bermuda or Ireland or other low-tax uh, havens, you can effectively try to defer or avoid paying those same taxes, which of course gives a big financial advantage, a competitive advantage, to the companies that are gaming the system. The tax bill was supposed to deal with some of that. In, instead, the CBO is saying it may end up making the situation even worse.